going on YouTube? So, want to do a video on uh, picking stocks. How should you go about picking stocks? So, I look at a couple of different things. I like stocks that are income and growth stocks. I like both. Some people like to pick one or the other. I like to do both. And then some people just like to do day trading where they just trade and they don't care if the company is growing or not. They just want a quick, quick buck and then get out. But I invest for long term. So, I like income and growth stocks. And so, for example, uh, a couple of stocks that me and my investment partnership have pe picked actually just last night was Dominion Power, which is the uh, electrical company here, the utility company here, and it's the only one. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we know that they're not going out of business. We know that they're gonna make money because it's the only place you can get electricity from here. So, and they have a great. Uh, Dividend share. They, they, if you look at their uh, previous history, they're like they're growing. They've never. If you look at their graph, it's just going straight up like that. So that's what I look at to determine if it's a growth stock or not. I look at the history and I look at. I don't care about little peaks and valleys here and there. If the overall trajectory is going doing this, you might do a little bit of this, but it's still going up. That's fine. So it lets me know it's a growth stock. That's my sole thing. Like there's other things that I look at too, but that's the main thing I look at is. Is, is the uh, graph going up or not? Also, what I use to determine if it's an income stock, simple, what everybody uses, the dividend. How much a dividend does it pay out? Um, and what's the uh, yield? And then it, and, and also look at the history to see has the dividend been going up? So that's something to look at. Also, you know you can go on uh, Yahoo uh, Finance or Google Finance or whatever. You can look at inside information. Uh, you can look at the balances the uh the uh what do they call it the balance sheet and the uh the income statement all of that you see what the company's making see if they're in trouble or whatever the case may be you can also see if they're giving out shares to the uh internally you know to their uh, higher ups the high ranking uh people so that's a couple of things that you can go off to uh to determine if you want to buy the stock or not but uh that's personally what I look into. So like I was saying, a couple of stocks that I want to share with you guys is Dominion Power, I think is a good one to buy in if you're looking for growth and income. Uh we bought into Starbucks last night. Uh Starbucks is I think is a little bit more riskier than Dominion, but it's still a good stock. And they just did a stock split, that's usually a good sign. Also, uh we invested in Tiva Pharmaceuticals. Now that was something that one of my counterparts brought to the table. I don't know anything about that company. I think they make uh uh, like over-the-counter drugs and uh, they also do stem cell research I think I'm not sure I might be getting to mix up one of the other companies we're discussing but either way I do remember that they had a good dividend payout and they also were growth stock so that's three stocks I wanted to give out today hopefully that was able to help some of you guys and uh, if you want more information on how to create a uh, investment partnership for yourself feel free to email me or uh, or message me leave a comment however you want to do it and I'll be more than happy to give you as much help as I possibly can. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And don't forget to check out my other page if you are a, um, a uh, interested in buying a franchise, a cleaning franchise. Then make sure you check out Cleaning Franchise Consultant YouTube. And uh, subscribe to me over there. I'm doing videos strictly for commercial cleaning franchise owners. And then also uh, the book. The ebook is still coming. Uh, my first ebook is going to be specifically about commercial cleaning franchise. Then I'm going to follow it up with another book uh, that won't be about that. So I was slated for that book to come out uh, this past month in March. Obviously, I didn't make that deadline, so uh, my new deadline is May. Uh, so hopefully, we can wrap that up. So I appreciate you guys again. Thank you so much.